Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. We need like a little song or something like we daily do. dose we need shirts. of Dismal Disney. I tried to do shirts and the people that, that did shirts for us was like, they were like, yeah, we're not going to do that because it looks too much like the but Disney But we're logo. trying it again. We'll try it again. We'll try it again. We'll sneak it, sneak it by him. Anyway, let's, let's talk about this because we did a video yesterday that Disney's stock at, is at a historic uh, nine-year low. Mm -hmm. And now they're making announcements, or they're going to make announcements, uh, potentially, maybe, possibly, about some uh, upcoming theme park-related stuff. Right, because it's their destination, D23. And, of course, they're probably doing this to get people interested and, more importantly, to... Uh, have shareholders be like, oh, hey, cool, you guys actually do have a plan. Right. You do have a plan. Yeah, I have some thoughts on this. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, if you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! So this is coming from piratesandprincesses.net, where we, we do a journalism every day. Mm -hmm. Original yeah. content uh, produced every day. People... People seem to think we had somebody in the comments yesterday. And normally, I don't read the comments that much. A lot of times, I'll pop in and see what the, like the latest comments are and just kind of get a feel for what people are saying. And one stuck out yesterday. It was like, you guys don't do any original news. You don't do anything. You just read other people's news. It's like, no, we actually have two blogs. And I would say a good majority or good portion of what we cover on this channel actually uh, comes from from those blogs, mm -hmm. but and whatever. Then, you know, and if we're, we're, we're talking about sources, we, it's because we're citing sources like journalists do, or we're calling out bullshit narratives, which are opinion masquerading as news, uh, which good journalists do. Anyway, let's talk let's about do a journalism. This. Let's do a journalism, guys. Can we hear some actual Walt Disney World announcements soon? So tell me what's going on with uh, okay. D23. So Destination D23 is the event that happens in Florida. So we have D23 Expo, which is the big one in Anaheim. And then they do like every, like they have one every year. So that's last year. This year will be Destination D23. The next year will probably be the Expo again. Okay. So ahead of D23 in, in Florida, they are releasing a their, their panel list. Okay. And on Saturday, the 9th, they're going to have a panel with Josh tomorrow again, talking about the past, present, and future of Disney, including some surprises. And everybody's like, yeah, well, last time, last year, when we had the panel with Josh tomorrow, um, the announcements basically amounted to, hey, there are a couple of meet and greets coming, like Mandalorian meet and greet, Figment meet and greet, um, Encanto meet and greet, which are happening. Right. And uh, maybe someday, maybe, guys, Blue Sky, uh, what's beyond Big Thunder Mountain? What, could, what IP can we shove into Animal Kingdom? And that's what it was. It was a bunch of IP they were talking about. They maybe, possibly, maybe might shove into something. And they got mocked incredibly uh, the memes were great let's put it that way yeah I, I think what's going on is they they want to announce stuff i don't think they had the budget to announce well it was also che back then yeah so people are like thinking because it says here's what the panel description it says join disney parks experiences and products chairman josh tomorrow and special guests for an entertaining presentation pre presentation looking into the future of disney parks Featuring updates from around the world and some fun surprises along the way. So they're going to talk about probably all the new stuff they have coming out about the expansions to the overseas parks. Oh, I'm sure. Um, the ones uh, that are co co financed, right? But yeah, they're they're yeah. getting some big expansions. Um, yeah. Different different parks are. Um, you know, here's what's interesting to me. We were talking about this before we did this video. So. Are they going to announce that they're going to actually do some stuff at Walt Disney World? Because when they had their investor call, the overseas parks were doing well. Disneyland wasn't doing too bad. It's Walt Disney World that was doing terrible, but Walt Disney World's their flagship. Okay. Disney World ends their original, but Walt Disney World's a flagship. And it's not doing well. So are they going to come out here and make all these announcements and say they're going to do stuff that's not just meet and greets? And then my next thing is, just because they announce it doesn't mean they're actually going to do it. Right, right. Um, yeah, because we've seen Disney, you know, walk it back many times, especially when it came to Epcot. Remember all these plans they had for Epcot? They were going to uh, build that festival p pavilion. They were going to do they the uh, spaceship. Something, but they, they toned it down significantly. Oh, well, yeah. There is a whole yeah. Epcot um, panel, too. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have some stuff in there as well. Hmm. But just because they announce it doesn't mean they're going to do it. They have Epic Universe breathing down their throats. 
Okay. Epic Universe is, is going to kick their asses. It's going to have um, Super Nintendo World. It's going to have How to Train Your Dragon. The How to Train Your Dragon thing is going to have like a, a the way it looks to me from the, the um, aerial images of the construction. It's going to have like, you know, when you, you're watching the movie and they're flying in to Burke and they're, they have those big guardian statues and yeah. the water. Yeah. They have those statues. They're being built right now. And it looks like it's in a big moat for like a boat ride type thing going on. It's going to be huge. They're having Universal Monsters with this, this big coaster and all kinds of stuff's going to be there. They're doing another Wizarding World, which is going to be um, like the France. Oh, the it's got the, the mystery, mystery magic. magic. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be there. Huge. And they're like cranking it out, guys. They're, it's what, 2025? But they're like yeah. whipping this stuff out like mad. They're like, you know, it's taking them a long time because they're doing a whole land. But like Disney World, what do you say? It takes them like five years to do one coaster? It takes them five years to do a coaster. Yeah, they built Magic Kingdom in a couple of years, but then anymore, it takes them five years to build one coaster. Now, I don't know. You know, people have said that they have problems getting workers at Disney because Disney's just... Well, they've gotten sued many times for they've been contractors. sued. They don't pay on time, I guess. There's all kinds of issues there. But you look at what Universal has built in the last couple of years compared to what Disney has built. Mm -hmm. You know, Universal's like, hey, we got a new... Uh, Minions Land. We've got a uh, uh, Jurassic World coaster. No, we've a lot got of them were just rethemed. The Velocicoaster, you know. Hagrid's was new. I mean, just yeah, in the last like four or five years, they've but they added do so much. Some too. But I mean, but then so does Disney. They retheme yeah. things all the time too. Um, but, this is interesting to me. Yeah, it just seems like they can get it done, and Disney just doesn't uh, so get it done. What I think is going to happen is we might actually get some announcements because they took too much flack last time. Because they didn't, they didn't give any announcements. I mean, it was garbage. Let's be honest. It was, it was, you know, right, right, I thought they were going to do figs, like they're going to announce something with Journey Imagination of Figment, and it was like we're going to do a Figment meet and greet. Now there have been rumors that they are going to do something with Journey Imagination because in January or February, um, Demaro and Iger and the president of uh, Disney World were touring backstage around um, Journey to Imagination. Yeah. So there's rumors they might do something with it. There's been rumors they might do something with Muppets with that too, which I um, they're pushing Muppets again. So I hope not. But there are different rumors about it. So I'm wondering if we're to get some kind of announcement about that, or um, or some different announcements about like the blue sky shit they were trying to to push. Um, it's more likely to be some kind of like small area theme, not really much of attractions. I don't think they have the money. This but is that's the what I was gonna say. They don't have the money. They don't have the money now. Here, this is where it's like a a, a catch twenty two, right? Because they have to announce. Something that doesn't mean they have to do it. Right. So investors know something is coming so they can see, oh, look, there's a long term future for Disney. So it's so, a shell game. Yeah. So we, we, we will we'll do it and we'll get the money. We'll announce it first and get the money later. Maybe maybe Disney can kickstart their next uh, <laughs> their next ride That's or something. Funny. You know, That's funny. But I mean, look at how long it took him to do Fantasyland. Look at how mm -hmm. you know, look at how long it took him to do uh, Galaxy's Edge even was it took a while. And, you know, they, they can't really throw it together that fast. Well, that's what I think you hit it with the, with the money. And that's where I was going to go with next. Then they're going to say they're going to make these announcements. It doesn't mean they're actually going to do it. Because he made that big comment on that one meeting. Oh, we're going to, out of nowhere, 17 billion we're going to invest in Florida, which yeah. never got mentioned before ever. Um, you, you don't have it. Because so far, you had had to cut five point what five billion mm. this year. So you had to cut jobs, like massively. You had to cut budgets. You're now announcing you're going to do fewer movies with less expensive budgets because your movies are failing at the box office. Yes. Your streaming service is stagnant and you're losing subscribers. And you're trying to figure out what to do about spinning off linear TV to sell it. You have to pay Com I forgot about that. You have to pay Comcast next year for, for their cut of Hulu. Yeah. Um, you just don't have the money. And then your theme parks are down. I mean, especially yeah. Walt Disney World. You don't have the money to do this. Not, not, and if you do have the money that you can spend on that, I'd recommend fixing what you got or putting it into other things that are failing to try to boost that. But you know, this, this isn't, it shouldn't be a top priority. They're going to need to though, because Universal's coming for them. Yeah. Well, it's well, a perfect the, storm of crap. Yeah. And the thing is, is that, you know, even if they announced it today, it would take them a minimum of five years mm -hmm. to and build Universal anything. Will be open. And Universal is going to be open and families have already booked their trips and they're already spending their money at Universal. So like, you know, this is all about bumping that stock up because mm -hmm, they want, I think. they want to see long-term plans. And we have another video coming out today talking about their movies and uh, the Hollywood strikes. Cause that's what they're looking at. That's probably what dropped their stock so much was like, you guys are pushing back your big Marvel, you know, like secret wars was probably the 
the next Marvel movie that had a chance to make a billion dollars. And you guys are pushing all this stuff back. Which is why I think they're going to maybe make a choice they're going to make. We're going to talk about it in another video. Yeah. But, you know, they don't have the money. No. So if they make announcements and they're bigger than just, hey, guys, here's some razzle dazzle bullshit, little inexpensive something. Um, I would like to make sure one, I'm going to wait to see if they actually do it and they don't cancel it later. Yeah. They, they do keep doing that because, you know, blue sky and then budgets. Or two, they aren't just, you know, doing it to bump their stock up, hoping to make enough money to try to be able to compete with Universal. Because come when, when Epic Universe opens, they thought they were having trouble before. Yeah. I mean, Walt Disney World's going to take a huge hit. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, Harry Potter put a huge, a huge dent in Disney attendance. And I think once Epic Universe opens, I could actually see Ep Epic Universe overtaking Disney World attendance. For at least Florida? For the first, yeah, yeah, I could too, actually. Um, it's very possible. Yeah. So, um, especially if they're not fixing what they have at, at Walt Disney World, and then they're doing things people don't want, like changing Splash Mountain into, to Tiana and all that stuff. You know, I I, I don't think and they're, and they're, and where well, Universal kind of stays out of it, like in, in internally in their parks, they have programs, I'm sure, and they you know DEI type things, but they don't make it a leading like you know putting in announcements in all the time in the media and everything else. Right. Right. And they, I know that for a fact they do have stuff. Yeah, it's for it's part of HR, which is what a lot of these right. studios are doing now. Is they're just making it part of HR, and it's and it's and it's done in a in a fair way, and it's, yeah. they're very diverse over at Universal Orlando, and they support people at Universal Orlando. I know they do for a fact, but they aren't like going out there and being in your face with it constantly, and like threatening to get into lawsuits with you know the governor and all this other crap, you know, and, and that's not looking good. To other people that, you know, your target audience, because you could just go to Universal and have to deal with that shit, you know? Yeah. You yeah. don't want, I mean, let's be honest, when you want entertainment and fun, politics is like the last thing you want to worry about. But Hollywood doesn't seem to understand that, and now they're in the, 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 the shithole they're in. I, I do expect a lot of announcements that'll be like, oh yeah, 10 years from now, we're going to do this. We're going to invest. Well, we're not going to give a time frame. They're just going to say it's coming soon. Or non-committal. Or like here. sometime, you know, in 2025. Here's some blue sky artwork. And someday, someday when we find some money in the couch cushions, maybe, maybe we'll do these things. Well, it would not surprise me though. If they don't do a couple projects, they will try to get in and they'll say coming 2025. Yeah, it it'll be not surprise quick. Me. Mm -hmm. I could see them doing a refurb of Journey to Imagination because the building's already there. Mm -hmm. Anything that, that is a reskin. But if they, they're smart, they need to make it what people want and not what they want to. They what IP like Inside Out or you know. That's been the rumor. The, shove. the rumor has been Journey to Imagination, the Inside Out, and then or Pop Muppets. I've heard that. Well, one too. I, I can see now. Hear me out, okay? Because Muppet Vision, I love it. But it's really dated. Not going to go with the Muppets. Sorry, I'm not going to agree with you. Not not the entire pavilion. I'm talking the theater next door. Oh, put, the theater. Or put, like the fun stuff afterwards. Right. Put Muppet Vision with, you know, Beaker because they got the whole thing over there mm -hmm. with Beaker and Honeydew and put Well, put they could because they've talked before about taking that Muppets area out of um, Hollywood, Hollywood and making it. Well, they originally were talking about like Indiana Jones, but they're going to do that now. No. Um, but turning it into something else. So it's possible they could. Yeah. I mean, I could see them doing that, doing a new Muppet vision that's that uh, i can see moving that you know, to the stuff theater from Hollywood with the fountain and all that to epcot i can see yes. that because they already have they already have the um uh, uh beaker the, and honeydew don't they the uh well they're doing screens with them oh uh, they're, they're on screens over at the uh odyssey for food and wine yeah but they're already pushing it and they've been doing muppet stuff over at epcot for a while because they used to have the mobile muppet lab and all that yeah so um i can totally see that uh, but for the ride itself, what people want is classic figment and dream finder. They don't want inside out with yeah, figment. That's been the rumor for a long time is that inside out was going to, they were going to do inside out with, you know, guest starring figment in like one scene. And, and that's not, nah. They've surveyed people trying to get rid of figment a couple of times and people rioted people. The one, the wild enough is the case now, but for years, the most um, requested, you know, change to Disney was fixing uh, Journey to Imagination, bring it back to what it once was, or some some iteration of that. And I, I, I think that it'd be it would be incredibly smart if they have to do one thing to try to win people back. That would be the one of the things I would definitely announce because they're doing a meet and greet, and they keep pushing Figment with all their festival merchandise and everything else because he's incredibly popular. Especially 
feel autistic people for some reason, but I, I mean, it's something I've noticed. Uh, there, there's yeah, there's like some commonality, and this isn't this isn't like a derogatory. No, no, I mean we have family making, members who are autistic. So yeah, it's this is not nothing, no, no derogatory meaning here at all. There, there are certain things like certain characters that seem to resonate with Mario's one. Of Mario's them. one, Sonic, uh, you know, Figment. Figment um, and it's th- a tank engine for whatever. Yeah, reason. I think any kind of like like bright, colorful easily identifiable anthropomorphic character. It feels like a friend. Feels like a friend. Figment feels like a friend, right? And I think that's that's kind of it. But like I um I uh think the popcorn bucket probably saved them. Cuz the oh, popcorn the bucket it was insane, which I have one. Thank you. Thank you um to uh well, I got two. One for we got one for my nephew and one for me. And thank you to to Lorena and to Mike. Yeah. So I, I think the popcorn bucket definitely saved them because people saw that there was a massive interest in Figment and they didn't know what to do with them. But it really, it wouldn't be that hard. I mean, a lot of people said, look, just take Mystic Manor from overseas because it basically is like an overseas version of the original Journey to Imagination and bring that ride system over because they can't they can't really fix the the ride system because the tracks in really bad shape. Well, the ride, but it's not the, the, the ride amount is like down. Like what it was, was it's like, like down a third. From yeah. It, it was, had yeah. to, they had to, to shrink it down because the issues allegedly, allegedly with the track system, the official reason, but just put another trackless ride system in open the upstairs again, open the upstairs, um, you know, and, and, uh, retheme it to, to figment and dream finder and use animatronics and, and Muppets and for around the area or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, another thing they could, that they have at Epcot that they could do something with is the wonders of life. Cause they were going to put the play pavilion in there, Pixar play and they didn't do it, but it's, they already have that thing, you know, they're already working on it. If, if you were going to do something like if you have cranium command already, right. I don't just, know that they tore out. They might have tore a bunch of I, stuff out. I don't know what's left of it. Buzzy's not there, Buzzy's, obviously. But, Buzzy's at the bottom of the lake somewhere. But that that is a perfect candidate for Inside Out because it basically is, right? Mm-hmm. It basically is Inside Out. Well, they can still turn out the Pixar or something, and then, yeah. you know, but then Pixar's declining returns, too. Anyway, I don't know. This is just a, this is completely side tangent. I'm just saying I expect some announcements because they're not going to do another D23 and have a panel about this with surprises and then pull what they pulled at D23 Expo because they got mocked so hard for it that they don't have some kind of announcement. People are going to riot and they need something to boost their stocks in some way. Yep. Yep. So that's what this is all about. It's about boosting the stock. What is the stock at right now anyway? I'm just going to go look here and see. Let's go see. It is 82.85. I'm waiting to see if it goes below 82 today. We'll see. We'll see. That's pretty bad. It's already a nine-year low. Maybe we're buying the dip, which is keeping it somewhat. Yeah. All right. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.